You see the stupid title, but I'm not gonna waste no time with no goofy and long ass intro. Let's get into it! If an Arkham Asylum prisoner was given a j Yo, I thought this man was gonna start with some slave joke, bro. Yo. What do you think it would be? Don't even answer it, because this ain't about you, blood. I think teacher would be first on the list, because it's the only job that will allow a lunatic to plot on kids verbally and get away with it. See, early in school for me, I was naive. I was under the assumption that all teachers were equally good, had their heads on straight, didn't check out of an insane asylum, because... Mr. Dingaling. <laughs> that was all I was assigned to. Is he Asian, bro? <sighs> Growing up, shoot, I already had it rough with the students I breathed the same air as. So when I came to school in the early days, I thought the only people that could save me from my suffering were the teachers. Until I ran into the ones that love putting me in a blunt. See, teachers just like students <sighs> literally have the power to either help you retire a nourished hero or turn you into a villain that wrestles a bat in spandex every night. So when I got my first douchebag teacher, which are pretty much just mentally unstable bullies that get power and a paycheck, every day for me after that was agony. Because as soon as I stepped on campus, I turned my head to the east, smoke. I turned my head to the west, smoke. Oh, you thought because you walked in a certain class, you would save me? Oh, no, smoke. And that opened my eyes and made me. Oh, shit, I ain't gonna lie. I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I should not even be surprised, bro. Every school got a nigga who be fucking on them, them little kids, man. You realize all teachers <sighs> are not equal. This had me worried on the first day of school each year because it was a hit or miss. I ain't know if I was gonna get Jariah or Miss Fowl. Good class. I had cool teachers, strict teachers, rebel teachers, teachers that probably rolled a blunt before class, teachers <laughs> that never did their job, teachers that I don't even know how they even got the job. So many teachers that I could handle except for the douchebags. I would always sit and think to myself, I don't know who the frick gave Yzma a job application, but they need to be neutered. Oh my gosh. I need some fairy godparents so Mr. Crocker can catch this Jorgen Von Strangle. Back in middle school, I had the science teacher. We're not going to use her real name. We're going to call her Miss K. And Miss K, congratulations. You just earned yourself a ratchet smite at the round table of roast for the second time. <sighs> If you don't get your letter P body built, seven o'clock street light, T-Rex baby arm, Mike Wazowski, Veggie Tales reject, thumb with a glued lace front wig, long titty plank from Ed, Ed, and Eddie, can't <laughs> Jack, wanna be black, what's that? I think I remember, hold on. This might be a good a revelation. I don't even know what the fuck they even mean. All the, 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 the goofy teachers, Literally had no ass. I don't remember a thick ass teacher that was like people uh actually didn't like, bro. It, it doesn't make sense. They always gotta have no no have an ass. Uh, right? hat built behind the break up out of here. <clears throat> That was the most accurate description of what she looked like in the most disrespectful way I could possibly put it. Why did I do it this way? Because I didn't know how to do it back then when she was disrespecting and embarrassing me for absolutely no reason. Thanks, Miss K. Now I'm gonna take that pain from a decade plus ago and make some money off of you again. <laughs> Now nah, that's a flex right there, bro. Miss K, for some reason, will always, and I mean always, try her absolute best to roast and embarrass me in front of a bunch of 14-year-olds, which would always piss me off, because it worked. Shawty must have not got love at home from her hubby or something. And you know what? I understand, because <sighs> if I had to make sure kids on the block... Man, I don't care, nigga. Why do you got some, some problems at home, man? Man, doesn't give you the right to be out here treating niggas like shit, nigga. Fuck Locked all that. Got home by seven. Yeah, I'm one of them niggas, bro. I don't care what you got going on, bro. You effing out of people's lives because, oh, they didn't treat you good at home, this and that. Your father be fucking you every night. I don't care, nigga. Get the fuck out of my face with that shit. I let my frustration out somewhere else, too. And what she. annoyed me even more was the fact that she did it in front of my biggest crush at the time. We're not going to use her real name. We're going to call her Wendy. At the time, me and Wendy were two 14-year-olds that really got along with each other and flirted a lot in class, which I don't even know what she saw in me, bruh, because I look like Randall from Monsters, Inc. Why would the daddy shorty 
nobody in the entire school at the time flirt with an aquatic life form anyway. I don't know. Maybe she wanted a pet. <laughs> oh, brother. I don't know about you, but I don't want to get punked out by the deformed librarian from Monsters Inc. in front of the future love of my life. At that point, you playing with my prepubescent, one pube, skint face, bird chest having masculinity. Miss K couldn't stand us cutting up in class, so that only fueled the fire and made me even more of an easy target. She did all this all the time for no reason until she found a reason, which was her killing me and Wendy's vibe. I don't know who had more beef, Kendrick and Drake or me and Kangaroo Jack. I mean, Miss K. <laughs> so one day, I'm in science class, right? I get my test done, give it to Miss K. Sit back down 15 minutes later when everybody's done, Miss K tells us she gonna call us all up one by one to see our grades so we can socialize during that time. I ain't wanna talk to nobody, even Wendy. So I start <laughs> grades. So sit back down 15 minutes later when everybody's done, Miss K tells us she gonna call us all up one by one to see our grades so we can socialize during that time. How the hell you gonna socialize? Oh, bro, what's good? My name is this and that. Oh, you got a zero two. Ah, my man. Can we be? We are friends now. What the fuck you mean socialize, bro? Bro, whatever that that tactic is of like us, uh, uh, getting your marks. Uh, the fuck is this word in in English, bro? Bro, getting your marks read out loud like every like learners like learners. Fuck nail, bro. Why can't they speak today, bro? Bro, every student or learn, bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. I'm gonna just say this, bro. Every nigga's my fucking test marks the red out loud, boy, so can you work in here? What the fuck you got going on? Yeah, I don't really get the the, the social thing, or she just she just or she said it like that. He's just reciting her words, not hit like uh doesn't. Those are not her, his words. I ain't want to talk to nobody, even Wendy. So I slide to the pencil sharpener, minding my own business. Next thing I know, and I wasn't surprised, I hear a pip squeak. Hey, yo, what the but what fuck? the hell? I beg your pardon. You I'm going to put something hard between her eyes, and I ain't talking about this. Meat. Silence. Now is not the time. I turn around, everybody dying laughing. I mean, everybody. I had two options. Roast her back and risk going to alternative school because I know <laughs> she's going to abuse her power because she can't take what she dissed out. Yeah. Or let it slide and avoid adversity with no consequences, but ultimately look like a hoe in front of Wendy. Uh, or another reason why you cannot even speak up for herself. She can fight her or whatever, whatever. You get home, you get beat by your parents. A nigga cannot win in this world, man. Who got threatened with alternative school because she couldn't take a roast back? This guy. Oh! <laughs> he actually, nah, bro. You could, man, I be saying, like, I be saying my little shit, whatever. But, hmm. Back then, to now, I'm not going to lie, bro. This is not a flex, but sometimes I, I, I do be speaking up for myself towards, like, older people. But back then, bro, yeah, I, that was not possible. Even, especially in school, come on, man. Ain't nobody was able to do that shit, niggas. Niggas that were able to do that literally ain't got nothing to live for. It's like, damn. Endure the pain or increase the pain. Like, come on, man. At school, yeah, it's S. Then you F up at school. The only place that you like going to is your home. You F up that the home because uh, your parents are going to beat you up because you did some stupid shit at school. It's like, bro. Gotta weigh the options, man. Like, hey, man. Rather just... Man, just say what you gotta say, man. Even though you gonna f up uh my chance with like fucking with uh, my crush or whatever. Hey, man, real what it is. I cannot for me f up the only place a nigga love, man. But hey, I'm gonna steal niggas with, on me. The fuck out of my face, man. I'm gonna steal niggas. Call me Master Zang, cause I'm a flippy bass.